Looking good at the gym is easy, and before you comment, who cares about the way you look at the gym? I'm there to work out. No shit, Sherlock. We all are, and discipline is needed to be consistent and to make progress. Absolutely. But I also firmly believe that having a nice fit will add that extra bit of motivation on top of your discipline to just get you going. Because starting is the hardest thing to do, so check me out. The first thing you're going to need is a cap or a beanie. So this is totally up to you, but I prefer a cap because I'm not trying to get hair all over my face when I'm sweating. That's gonna cause acne and it's just annoying. And if you have short hair, you obviously don't have to worry about it, but I still think a cap looks cool. Instant athleisure vibes for sure, and preferably one that is moisture wicking and sweat absorbing, but you can also rock a headband as well if you like. My favorite ones are this one from Alpaca. You see me wear this all the time with tech wear fits, but it's also perfect for training because of the sweat absorption and breathability. Now the next thing you're going to need are slim fitting clothes with performance capabilities like elastane, moisture wicking, sweat wicking, ventilation, and overall breathability. And in terms of the pieces, this is totally up to you. I like tank tops myself or whenever I trade upper body, and definitely not these ones. These are whack. Just simple performance ones. And on leg day, I usually wear a fitted long sleeve or an oversized shirt. And yes, you can wear oversized pieces whenever you're working out. Not everything has to be slim fitting. Honestly, these $20 oversized Uniqlo shirts are great for working out. And y'all know how much I love rocking these in my regular fits. They're perfect for training because they're moisture wicking, they're very breathable, and you got more mobility because it's oversized. And for your bottoms, I honestly just recommend tapered joggers and sweats. Personally, just think it looks better. And when it comes to shorts, just make sure that they are cut above the legs. And a must have for me is there's a zipper pocket or just anything to store your phone or AirPods. Now, if you put together a fit with all these pieces, it's pretty solid. But to really top it off, go for a windbreaker or a tech jacket. This is honestly that one piece that immediately radiates athleisure vibes. You look like you're about to crush a workout. And I like to roll with this at the start of my workout to warm up because personally I like to get a light sweat going before I try and lift some heavy weights because I've messed up my shoulder doing calisthenics back in the day so make sure you warm up and starting with an outer layer like this when it comes to your workout is a great way to start building a sweat easily and these windbreakers right here come from the sponsor of today's video champs so what I love about these is the stretch and breathability that comes with these pieces as you can see that vent right there is important to allow you to breathe during your training whenever it comes to lifting or running it comes with zipper pockets and 3m reflectivity so you'll be seen on your nightly runs check that out that extra detail alone adds so much much. And if you're just getting started with working out, having a clean piece like this is definitely going to be that extra bit of motivation to get you started. Like just check out the difference on how I used to dress to the gym to now. Major difference. So I did get these in a size medium and one in a size small and I am 5'7", 156 pounds. So that should give you a relative idea on sizing and they are also quite affordable. That much performance for the price, you can't beat that. And all these pieces are actually repped by NFL quarterback Jalen Hurts. And I personally got the best colors of gray, black, and navy. All looks super clean and it's going to make you look good and feel good which is just going to translate to your training i also got the joggers and shorts to make these a set you hardly see this much performance for the price so i'll leave a bunch of links in the description where you guys can check out these pieces and definitely check out champs i highly recommend these pieces and thank you champs for sponsoring this video now back to a fashion standpoint windbreakers like these bridge that gap between tech wear and athleisure and it looks dope and then after i warm up these jackets are easily packable and i'm in my base layer fit to finish the rest of my work out. Now, let's talk about full set outfits. I actually really enjoy these. Tech fleece or the champ sets, it just looks clean and I highly recommend it. Especially when you have a variety of colors, you can mix and match or just go for one solid color. Here's the tech fleece fits with the cap I talked about earlier and honestly, I can train in this or go run my errands in it. A full set athleisure fit is definitely underrated so keep an eye out for it. So now let's talk sneakers. So I'm in the camp of I don't really care what I wear to the gym sneaker wise. Obviously, you don't want to wear flip-flops or open-toed shoes. If you drop away, you're definitely going to lose a toenail. That's a recipe for disaster. So my go-tos are Converse's, Blazers, or Vans for whatever I'm doing my huge compound lifts. The flat sole is just safer in general, but most of the time I'm in some sort of runner, something like the Ultra Boost. It's a classic, you can never go wrong with it. Air Maxes are also dope, and Champs sent out these Vapor Maxes, which are also pretty cool. And if I'm gonna be running, this is definitely overkill. I am rocking the Gyakuso Vaporfly Next Percents. Not worth the money, 
I'll just be honest, unless you are a marathon runner or you like really cool sneakers. And this is my rock climbing footwear. Honestly, you can probably get something better, but I really like them. And so now we got to bring up socks. Nobody seems to like no show socks, but I love them for whenever I rock low top sneakers. And plus it's getting hot now and I'll take any airflow I can get. So don't at me. I'm going to be rocking my no show socks, but I also do love rocking high cut crew socks. They look awesome. They cover up your ankles if you don't like showing them. And in my opinion, this is the only good time to tuck your sweats into your crew socks. I know that was a big deal in like what 2018 but i think it looks good with your athleisure fits and a huge recommendation i have is to match the tone of your crew socks with your sneakers so let's just say it's a darker sneaker rock a pair of gray or black crew socks and if it's a lighter white colored sneaker or pastel colored sneaker definitely go with a white crew sock i think it just looks better that way and finally to finish off your fit you're going to want to pick up a duffel bag just something simple mine just came from youtube it's not even a performance brand but yeah just get yourself one of these you can hold all your gear your equipments your water balls etc like i got my own dip belts and cable attachments and I also store my boxing gloves and climbing shoes in there keeping stuff in your car or locker is not the move I'm telling you right now I used to work at a gym in Albuquerque so much stuff got stolen you want to keep that on your person and there you are look at you looking all fly at the gym an extra bit of motivation on top of your discipline is going to make you unstoppable if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly make them gains check out champs with the links in the description deuces